Here comes a new challenger! Alright, let's go over this really quickly. Alright, so Sora. Smash. This is a mod, 100%. This is the F-Tilt of Shulk, and if you may have noticed, when Shulk is not doing anything, his Monado's on his back, and for Sora, his Keyblade's on his back. It's clearly a mod, all right, because I'm not a Kingdom Hearts fan, but I don't recall Sora just having the Keyblade on his back. Usually, he will have it over his shoulder when he's not fighting, or he just phases it out, all right? So, you know, it just comes in, comes out whenever he, you know, needs it or wants it or whatever. Alright, so, glad we debunked that stupid thing out of the way, and no leakers are leaked channels. There is no chance of this being real. Sora could be revealed at the Game Awards, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this leak is real. Please, stop doing this, alright? This is why leak channels always get a bad rap, because they keep doing stuff like that. Stop it. You know better, alright? Gosh. I guess that's what happens when two of the bigger leak channels that really died off are Block Onsen and Lex Chris on. But anyways, let's talk about Jonesy, the main portion of this video. So, uh, you know, um, what I have to say, well, it's not a lot, really. I just wanted to talk about Jonesy because I know a lot of people are thinking he's going to be at the TGAs. Me, personally, I don't even know if there will be a reveal at the TGAs. That's just people saying there might be, but that doesn't mean there will be, just so we're clear, okay? Now, why are people thinking Jonesy? Well, it's because of one of those interviews of no comments after being asked about Smash. And look, while this has resulted in stuff, as for instance with Steve, there was the stuff of Minecraft a year ago, I believe it was, at Minecon when someone was asked about Smash, they just didn't really have a comment. And Suda51 also said no comment when relating to Smash, and then he got a me costume. So, it could be a character, it could be a costume, it might even be a spirit, who knows? But, let's just, let's just get into it, okay? Let's just, just talk about it. Why would Jonesy be a bad pick for Smash? Well, not because Fortnite is bad, I don't, you know, for me, for me, I'm very subjective, I don't let, you know, community opinion sway me. I played Fortnite, I enjoyed Fortnite, I don't play it anymore. But when I did play it, I did enjoy my time with it, and then Smash Ultimate came out, and then I stopped because of Smash Ultimate came out. So when it came to Fortnite, you know, I, if Jonesy were to get in, I wouldn't mind at all since I already have prior history with the franchise and the character. So in that sense, I, you know, I don't really care if he gets in or not. The problem here is, is that, well, it'd be a very toxic pick, because let's face it, while you, the viewer, yourself, may want Jonesy 100% without any other reason other than you genuinely think he'd be a great character to have, that's not a majority of people. The majority of people are on two sides. They either don't want Jonesy, or they want Jonesy just to make the community suffer. And right now, does the Smash community really need more suffering? I don't think so. It also doesn't help that Jonesy itself causes a very uh, toxic environment when being discussed upon, and so in my opinion, I just don't think Jonesy would be a good pick, especially right now with everything that's going on, and the fact that people just don't want him to seriously want him. At least with Minecraft, it's been around for even longer, and it's inspired several games. It, I mean, come on, it's, it's just a game that has done so much for gaming, not just because Minecraft is a popular game, but it's done a ton, alright? It's done a lot. You can't deny it. I see people, kids, schools using Minecraft for programming classes and other educational stuff, you know? It's not just a game where you play in a sandbox, it's more than that. So when Minecraft gets in Smash, as a fighter, I'm genuinely not surprised I feel it deserves it, even if I myself wouldn't have thought it would have happened. And me, personally, I grew up playing Minecraft as a kid, and I learned a lot from playing Minecraft as a kid. Way more than I do with uh, more <laughs> schools nowadays, so I'm just saying. I think anything deserved it, it was most likely that. But, Fortnite really hasn't had that same level, you know what I mean? And that's why a lot of people don't really think Fortnite's a good choice, because, well, what happens when it does become irrelevant, you know? It's not gonna be the game that everyone wants to play anymore, and when that happens, well, what do we do now? Game's dead. It's in Smash, so I guess it won't be forgotten, but 
uh, game's dead. You know what I mean? Me, like I said, I don't care if Jonesy gets in. Me, I, I play the game, so if he gets in, sure, I'll be hyped. But that is to say that he is just a toxic pick, especially in the current landscape of Smash. You know what I mean? Nintendo, why'd you cancel Splatoon Terminal? Come on, man. But that's neither here nor there. Whether you like Jonesy, whether you hate Jonesy, I think we can all agree that people just don't want him in for the right reasons. At least the majority of people don't. With that being said, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Jonesy's gonna happen? What are your thoughts on this video? And do you think he'll be at the Game Awards? Me personally, I don't even think there will be a Game Awards reveal. Last time people thought a Smash reveal was gonna happen at the Game Awards, it ended with Fast and the Furious. So, with that all being said, I hope you enjoyed. Press that funny red subscribe button as I wanna make it to 300 before the end of the year. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Come on, come on, help me out. I'm just trying my best. It is so much pain to try to convince people, but please, be back. So that all being said, Stay safe out there, and I hope you have a great day. Peace. You can't